Yeah, right now, behind me, as you have seen, this is special office, offenses court, pardon me. This is Bisola F. Zuba Johnson, standing for Bisola Johnson Foundation. I am here to witness the, the concluding part of uh, Faye Daniel's case, rape case. So, yeah, today, I believe judgment will be served. Yes, we stand against rape in Bisola Johnson Foundation. I will keep you updated as the case go further. Blessings. That's for you, Daniels. That's for you, Daniels. Today is the court case. Sam. Sam. For you, Daniels. Oh my baby, I'm gonna show me. Oh, I'm gonna show you. going into this is Bisola Ebzuba Johnson representing Bisola. You can tell me where to shoot. Mm -hmm. Your name. Bisola Ebzuba Johnson. In this court today, I'm representing Bisola Johnson Foundation. Um, it's not a good thing to say, but um, what these young ladies are going through, you partially, in a way, find yourself in that kind of terror. How does it feel that, while in your own case, uh, this might not have been the judgment, or this might not have been the outcome, but in this particular case, this is the outcome. How does it make it? Um, I'm telling you, I feel good because justice has been served. And uh, this is uh, giving us uh, uh, joy that we can still rely on the justice system of Nigeria. In my own case, and I think that is the only regret I will be having in my life, that I didn't take TB Joshua to court because I was not well guided. You understand? And uh, But I spoke my truth and a lot of people believe maybe I was lying and uh, until BBC documentary came and a lot of people are came into it. And yeah, it makes me feel good, I tell you. That is why I came here. You remember in 2019 when Dab Polo also came out that uh, Pastor Rita. I was also on the streets, you know, because I felt their pain. You understand? And it's that pain that gave birth to activism. That is why I am here to be a voice for the voiceless. Because there are many people out there that has been a victim of this psychopath. But they don't have courage to come out. And that is why you see us talking. So in order to give them confidence and courage. That the 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 the, the um the culture of silence and secrecy in Africa needs to be broken. Everybody needs to speak out. And let me tell you, it's not that we are totally against even the perpetrators. We feel for them. And that we are calling out anyone who is sick mentally. Go for help. So that you know this kind of disgrace that before that is befalling Feyi Daniels today will not be for you. How much money the church has spent in taking lawyers? It is irrelevant. I mean, irrelevant. You understand? If you have gone for psychotherapy, you know, you will be, I mean, you know, get yourself washed out and you will not enter into this kind of disgrace. Remember, we are in the time of internet. Even if you come out, it's already tagging on its name. We are not against the church because people may rush to say, oh, you're against the church. We are against the, the bad eggs 
if I have virus in my system now and I use antivirus, that does not mean I'm against my body. I want to purge my body. According to Jude 1 4, it says some people have entered into our midst using the name of Jesus Christ to deceive the, 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 the sheep of Jesus Christ. So, for you, a win for these girls is a win. For it you. is a win for me. A win for them is a win for me. And we want to see more of those, that, this kind of win. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Notice you, and I quickly would like to take your voice very quickly on what had happened in court today. And written totally is Bissola Johnson Foundation, and I really would love to understand um, that I know of you is that you're a voice in the BBC documentary Disciple, the Cult of TV Joshua. If you had to speak on sexual assault and such as you have experienced, allegedly according to the documentary, what would you say and what would today's judgment from the case of Bishop A. Daniels, what would it mean for you? For me, the judgment of today means win for me and for all the victims of rape all over the world. For me, it's a belief in the system, in justice of Nigeria. Because, you know, before we thought maybe people who are rich, who are influential, we, we, you know, we not allow the victims to get justice. But yeah, with the, with the things that are happening recently, we see that we can rely on the justice of in Nigeria. So it's a win for me. I'm so happy. Now, a lot of people have come out after the revelations in the documentary and very quickly I'd like to take your reactions to some of the things that have been said, e.g. why did we have to wait, why, it was said that, so why did the women have to wait until the, 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 the pastor had died and it was other things. That's a good question, but I need to tell you there's no time frame for any victim to be ready to speak their truth. Some people, they are suffering psychologically, emotionally, and otherwise. For me, I've been speaking since 2008. I'm talking about over 15 years now. And over time, the pain and the wound has given birth to activism in me. And uh, I, I can affiliate and, and, and I can, I can, I can feel for any victim because I've been through it. You understand? Some people they may not want to, you know, agree or join because of course the name TV Joshua because of the power, influence, and fame. But I see beyond that, everybody is a human being, you understand? And everyone is supposed to give rights to speak their truth, especially in the society where we all live in, so that we can have better society, so that everyone can be free to speak their truth. Now, another of such questions which I'll quickly ask is, some have also quizzed, so what do you intend to gain? What, what are you looking forward to um, as a win Having spoken out at a time like this? Yeah, at the time I spoke out, um, at that time I was dying physically because everyone at that time has the, mind, has the knowing that if you leave Swan, even if you usually say, if you leave here, you are gone. Live here, you are, you are empty. So I thought I was going to die because after living two, two, two weeks after living, I begin to see some some strange things. Uh, Tortoise in my house, bad dreams and all that. So I thought I was going to die. So at that time, I wanted to leave a voice behind that if I die, this is where I'm coming from. But thank God I didn't die, and I took it up to continue speaking my truth. So that people can beware. You understand? Because it's not only TV, you can imagine in 2023, 20, 20, 20, 2022, 2020, we are seeing people like Fei Daniels. So we have many of them in churches in our you know, community. So by the time we begin to speak out and people know their modus operandi, when they are bringing this kind of style, you be careful. Husband, be careful. If pastor wants to see your wife alone, be careful. If pastor wants to see children, your children alone, be careful. You understand? Be there with them because these are the ways they enter into children, even adults, even married women. 
and they, they defile them, they abuse them, and subject them to all manner of ungodly things. Thank you so much, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Thank you very much.